Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is going to be a quick little video on the leak test for my DIY sump I made. Um, sorry for the amount of glare and the brightness. Um, I'm outside, obviously, and the sun is like right on top of me, almost. Um, but anyways, I already pre-filled the sump halfway, or almost halfway to save time on video. Um, so you, don't guys, you guys don't get bored. Uh, so what I'm going to be using is a paper towel, and I'm just going to, I already recognized it was a leak here, or it seemed to be a leak, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it, and if I see water coming back out, that means there's a leak. If I don't, then there ain't no leak. Um, so, doesn't seem to be any leaks. Let's check all the edges. Right here, one edge. No. No, nothing. Alright. Check this edge. As you can see, there's nothing. Ah, oh, sorry. That grass is pokey as hell. Um, nothing. Alright, so we don't got any leaks over there and there ain't no leak where I thought there was a leak. Alright, let's go ahead and turn on the water to check the spillover. Okay. Um. Okay. So as you can see we're filling up water. Now we can watch the water spill over. We got a perfect spillover. All right, now let's check this area for leaks. Um, the reason I have cardboard under is to level it out and also if there is a leak, I'll see it um, really easily. So yeah. So as you can see, we got a perfect spillover. Um, it's nice and even. Um, so that means the glass is straight, thankfully. Um, so yeah, basically I went with the Berlin style sump, so these two baffles um, are basically just for some sponge and stuff. There's no fuge. Um, let's go ahead and let you see the full front view. All right, so as I said before, it is a Berlin style sump. Um, so from there to there is about, I would say, 27 inches or so, 26, um, and then 16 inches wide. Um, and basically it stops up here. I'm going to have my skimmer, my bio pellets and all that. And then it's going to spill over, go through some sponges, maybe some carbon, uh, chemi-pure, whatever. And then it's going to go into my return section right there and that's gonna stop bubbles and stuff um, so yeah so I'm gonna fill it up to the tippity top um, and hopefully we don't have any leaks and hopefully the glass can withstand the pressure um, so as we wait let's just kinda just go around it one more time check for leaks um, I'm going to be leaving the tank full of water for a good two days to make sure it can withstand the pressure. Uh, let's go turn off the water first before it spills over and wrecks my cardboard that I'm using. Oh wow, we went right to the tip. Okay, so right here we're to the top basically. I mean the ground isn't fully level, but we are to the top. Um, this is way higher than the water level will ever get. Um, I'm going to be running a check valve and stuff like that. Um, and on top of that, when I put a skimmer, some rocks and stuff in here, it's not going to be as full. So definitely, um, this is uh, not the tallest or the highest it's going to be. Um, so yeah. That's my leak test. 
not a single leak anywhere sump feels solid it really does it feels real solid um, so yeah that's really cool all right so yeah that's my DIY sump build test leak test and that is my DIY sump which is amazing and I love it um, I'm really glad I didn't buy a trigger systems I saved myself at least two hundred dollars and I got what I wanted and what I needed um, and fuges are starting to become useless um, so yeah that's about it this thing is a monster I mean compare that to my shoe things huge or to that garden hose hose um, but geez that thing's fat uh, so yeah thanks for watching and sorry for wasting your time and making this video really long um, I tried to make it short but anyways if you like the video I would really appreciate a like and if you want to keep up with my new tank build and if you want to keep up with what I'm doing with my tanks and stuff just subscribe I'd really appreciate that too so yeah thanks for watching and bye